You need more Sonic? I hate Sonic games. Well, I hate the 2D ones for the Segas. I actually have never played any of the 3D ones. Um, but yeah. Dude, Sega sucks. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate Sega. No, I really do. I hate Sega. Okay, so, okay, I'm not just gonna say I hate Sega without explaining why. Um, I hate Sega because, and I'm redoing this because that was too quick. I hate Sega because, A, it's too fast. It's like this, but like even worse. Like every time you play a Sega game, you feel like you're on crack. Or like, you know, you just took like 10 shots, you know, of like some kind of weird like energy drink. Like just everything is just zoom, 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 zoom. like everything. The music, the graphics, the control. You know, think of Sonic. Like you don't even know what the hell's going on. So you're not even like playing a game because a game requires reaction like this. Like you see the ball, you go, oh, okay, I got hit it now. Sonic, you're not, you just, you're kind of just letting the game play itself. That's why I don't like Sonic games. Like, you go around the ring, you know, you, you, you don't even jump. You just kind of let the game play itself. It's boring as shit. And, uh, but I think that's why a lot of people like it, because they suck at video games, and that one's really easy to play. Because, uh, like I said, it plays itself for the most part. But, like, the other thing I hate about Sega is the controller. The controller is fucking terrible. Uh... The ABC button, it's like, okay, so like Super Nintendo, if you look at the button sequences, you can use your thumb, because you're using the tip of your thumb, and then the next knuckle down. So you can hit these two buttons, and then slightly move your thumb up to hit these two buttons. But when you're playing Sega, you have three buttons in a row, and your thumb just doesn't contour to that. So like when you have to go like A, C, A, B, C, A, you know, like back and forth, you have to kind of almost look at the controller sometimes to make sure you hit the right button. It's just a, a shitty design. And then the, the the six button one is better, but since in Sega, there's not many games where you can configure the controller, you almost never use the top buttons, which then makes the controller completely useless. So you have to have like two different controllers, and that's another shitty thing. Like, when I buy a Super Nintendo, I just have this controller. When you buy a Sega Genesis, you have to have two different controllers. And it just, I don't know, everything about the Sega is stupid. They have some games, but then, like, Super Nintendo has the same games for the most part. I think there's only a very select few games that I like better on Sega than I do Super Nintendo. Because they're different games, like Aladdin. Aladdin is way better on Sega uh, than Super Nintendo. Because they're two completely different games. But, you know, other than that, Sega blows.